I did not want to make this rant video, but I think I have to because some people get the wrong message and they need to get nonsense slapped into their heads and get the right message. Have you ever been on a plane, whether it be Southwest, America Airlines, United, Alaska, um, Delta? It doesn't matter. At least one time you're going to have to deal with a kid. Seriously. I'm not joking. I try going on flights that avoid that situation, but there's going to be at least one stupid woman or man or couple who decides to book the same flight as you. I'm not saying they're stupid. It's just they don't know when to time stuff. So you try to avoid that situation, you end up having to go with that situation. And then at some point, there's going to be a screaming kid on board. Now, it doesn't matter if they're just an infant, a toddler, um, an elementary kid. They're going to scream. And then there's going to be that one situation that someone is going to lose it. They've had enough. And it doesn't matter whether it's been 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, or even 6 hours. Enough is enough. They stand up and yell at the parent or the child, This needs to stop. And then sometimes the kid stops. But then the parent and some of the people on the plane, as well as some of the crew members, they look at the guy or girl who said they had enough, and they say, dude, that is not okay. You're idiots. I say it is okay. Only because they're just trying to do what they think is right. In fact, I once actually yelled at a woman, keep control of your child. And you know what? He stopped screaming. Or she. I don't remember the gender of the kid. And I don't care, honestly. But then another woman, when I got off the plane, scolds me and saying, I shouldn't have done that. That lady should have minded her own business. If it was her own child, I would allow her to talk with me. But if you're that one person who yelled at a kid at that one airport and then had that argument with the that one person that happens to be me, that's right, if you're watching this video, I'm talking about you, you should have minded your own business. It's not your child. If it was your child, you can scold me. But since it's not, you should have minded your own business. I was standing for what I thought was right. Anyway, the point of this video I'm making is the people need to realize no one wants screaming kids on their plane. And I don't either. Because one day, somebody's going to lose it. And I'm not saying it would be me. Anyone could lose it. They're going to scream at that person. Knock it off. This needs to stop. Get them off of here. And the flight attendant should throw the person with the kid off the flight. Not the one who's causing the scene saying that they needs to stop. You people need to wake up, smell the coffee and realize who actually needs to be taken off of the plane. I wish they made flights with uh, non-screaming kids. That would make my day. Seriously, they need to make a specific flight for us people so we don't have to deal with this crap. Because I don't want to put myself on the no-flight list, even though the real people who should be on that list are those with those noisy kids. They're the ones who really need to be on the no-fly list. But I'm not going to get into the whole debate on who should fly and who should not. But I just want to state my honest opinion on this whole bullcrap on the whole situation. So I'm just stating my opinion. Hopefully most of you will agree with me on this. If you do, great. If you're one of those people who disagree with me, you must have had your head dropped when you were young, if that was the case. That's all I have to say here. Thanks for watching.